What is up guys? So it is the following weekend and I will say it is pretty late right now. It is Sunday night. It's like approximately one in the morning. Um, I ended up screwing up. Saturday I worked, Sunday it was super cold out and I just had no motivation to work on the car. So what I ended up doing is spending time with the family. On my days off, I just like to soak in all the family time I can because most of the time that's my only day. So I'd rather dedicate my my free time to spending time with my daughters and my fiance than working on a car. I have all the time in the world to work on a car. I know I have a car show coming up this weekend and actually, what, six days, five days? It's technically Monday morning, so the car's gotta be there Saturday morning. My list has shrunk down just for the car show, so I think all I'm gonna end up doing is painting the fender and just giving this thing a good detail. I don't even think I'm gonna get into raising the car. I don't think I'm gonna get into any of that. I just want the car to look good, presentable. What we are gonna end up doing is painting this fender. We got all the supplies today. Um, what I didn't have, I ended up picking up. Yeah. I'm about to show you guys all the steps on how to prepare and paint one of your body panels. If not, you could blend into other panels or paint a whole car, but I am gonna show you the proper steps into painting it. I know there's a lot of videos out there on how to paint things, but this is what today's episode is going to be about. So I figured I'd show you guys in depth on how I end up doing this. So I say we get started. My apology if I end up stuttering or sounding a little um, tired, it is approximately two in the morning. Um, I just looked at the clock and it is pretty freaking late. I'm probably gonna call it quits about three o'clock, four o'clock. The only reason I'm wide awake is because I work midnight, so I'm used to going to bed at 6 a.m. So right now I'm kind of wired. I'm gonna get done whatever I can tonight without draining myself. I don't wanna end up sleeping half my day away tomorrow. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time out here and we're gonna get started on this thing. We have all our grits of sandpaper, which we will not be using all of this. So we start off with 80 and then I wanna say it's 120. 220, actually no, we're starting off with 80, 220, 400, 600, 800, and 1,000. What we are gonna be using is probably 400 and 600, just these two. Uh, the fender is painted already, so we shouldn't need any super rough sandpaper. Um, you can do this by hand, so I do have this moon which is pretty helpful. We can do this by hand, which we probably will be doing. Um, so what we're gonna do is be prepping the fender with 400 first. I think I'm gonna take it down with 400. Actually, maybe even 600. I'm not 100% positive, but we're gonna sand it all down. There is some waviness in the fender, so we're probably gonna have to do a little bit of body work. We have our body filler, smooth that out. Then you're gonna wanna prep whatever you did use bondo on with the primer and then after you apply the primer we'll probably do about two coats maybe even three coats we're gonna dust this guide coat on so you're just gonna make like a black mist after that after the fender is a hundred percent flat we're going to be using our paint so yeah, we're gonna do about two coats of Reflex Silver and then probably a third coat to mist it. Since it is a metallic paint, you want a nice even coat. So after that, we're gonna be using our 2K Clear. If you guys aren't familiar with this, this does have a hardener slash activator in it. This is professional base clear coat. So what you do is you take this cap off and then you put it on the bottom and then you pop it pop it on the bottom and then you shake it really good and that activates the hardener and it'll harden just like professional clear. Sorry for all the talking. It's a lot of explaining for you guys who don't know how or who is not familiar with body work. I, I wanna be as thorough as possible. I've never really been so thorough in a video besides my polishing video. So if you guys wanna check that out, you can go ahead, I'll put it up here. So yeah, let's get started on this fender and I wanna knock this out. And also I'm probably gonna have to start the propane heater because it is freezing in here. I can almost see my breath, it's that cold. So now we're gonna clean the surface with paint thinner. We can use rubbing alcohol, but I don't feel like running inside and going to grab it. So I'm gonna use some paint thinner. 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna just wipe the edges. We're gonna wipe all the edges so the tape sticks really good and then we're gonna lay some plastic. Alrighty, so we got everything taped up, all plastic off, we're all good to go. So I think we're gonna start sanding this thing with 400 grit, if not 220. So let's just begin by saying that this fender is fucked. So pr there was some previous body work, obviously. So I painted over the yellow. So anything you see after the yellow, which is just primer and paint and clear, anything below is previously. <sighs> That's a lot of Bondo. So clearly this fender was destroyed. As you see, there's a lot of low spots. It's wavy, it's like that. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna take some rough sandpaper. So I was actually using 120. So I might even use 80 and grind this entire arch down to bare metal and start fresh. Right, so we got this thing pretty much down to bare metal and you can really see the bubbles in there. I'm not sure if you can. There we go. Yeah, we got them two divots. And then there's some body work on top, but so far the arch is still in good shape. It's just them two divots. So I'm about to get my hammer and my dolly and smooth this out the best I can and then feather out all this other body work and then flatten this clear run out and then sand down the whole entire fender. Alright, so we got this thing all sanded down to 600. It ain't perfect, there's some flaws. But for a do-it-yourself paint job, this should be fine. So next step is to lay some body filler on all the body work right here. And then prime, prime the yellow spots and all the bare spots. And then uh, time to lay some paint on this thing. What's up guys? So it's actually the next day. 
I took a pause last night. It was getting really late. So today we're on our way to Painter Supply. I gotta pick me up some wax and greaser because I'm not using paint thinner. And we need some white rags. Um, I don't have any clean white rags. And possibly a roll of 400 grit. And yeah, so we're about to be there in a couple minutes. And what are the odds? I just realized I'm wearing a painter supply shirt. All right, guys, so we just made it back from Painter Supplies, and I'm going to show you guys what I picked up. So this is what I was lacking in in material. So, yeah, we got a new thing of Bondo. We got our 220 grit. That's to prep for the body filler. So we're going to sand down the metal and all the areas that are going to need uh, attention with body filler with that. And then after we prime, we're going to sand it down with 400. So there, that's the two rolls we got right there. And then we went and got some wax and greaser. Wax and grease remover. Like I said, you can use alcohol, but um, we don't have much of it, and that's for the house, so I figured I'd get some real wax and grease remover, and then you're gonna want one of these sprays. Also picked up some scotch spray pads. They're literally, they're scuff pads. These come in handy, especially for curved areas, and then just some white rags, so. We're about to hit this whole area with 220 and get some body filler laid before I gotta go to work. what's up guys so today it's actually Wednesday morning it's currently like 6 in the morning well 6 30 in the morning I just got off work I'm tired as shit but um I literally have what two days to get this thing to a car show um Saturday morning so yeah that's three days my bad but I have two days to prep so this is the current state right now it's hideous so right now we're about to get started with sanding and block all this out and then we can lay down our primer and then guide coat and then 400 grit and then we lay down our paint. Let's get to it. I'm tired of shit, but I do have my caffeine, got my coffee, got my energy drink. <laughs> so I'm actually staying up. Normally I'd be sleeping right now, but I'm staying up today just so I can get this done because I have a lot to do. So we just took 220 over the entire thing. Now we're ready to lay some primer down.
I got this thing all sanded down with 400. It's not perfect, but it's pretty smooth. So let's lay some paint down. Well guys, I got good news and bad news. Good news is I'm finally done. Bad news is it looks like shit. Honestly, I don't even care right now. Um, yeah, I'm just disappointed in my uh, quality right now. <laughs> but I guess that's what happens when you're tired and you have uh, the wrong environment. And I don't know, I guess I just rushed it. Also, automotive primer in a can, you wanna let that stuff dry. What I accidentally did is let it sit uh, not long enough and tried sanding it and it just kept clumping, uh, clumping my sandpaper. And then when I went to go wipe it down with wax and greaser before I painted it, it literally smeared the primer. So it just shows how cheap that primer is. It has no hardener in it. So I recommend not using the spray paint primer. That stuff is just junk to me, but I guess that's what you can get at the store. Um, so yeah, it looks like poop. It don't even match. Color is off. I'm just glad it doesn't have a run anymore and it's not cracked anymore, but otherwise it does look like poop. Um, the clear coat is dry up top. There's a lot of orange peel. The color is off. It is all in all, I'm not happy with it, but oh well. So here goes a look at it. Look at right off the rib, you can tell it's off color. It's super light. It's kind of aggravating, but whatever. And it said, clear coat up top is like dry compared to the hood. If you look at the hood, they look at the two reflections. You can just tell. I mean, I guess it does look better, but I don't know pretty upset with the whole thing but that's gonna wrap up today's video sorry it had does not have a good ending but it is what it is so next video will be car show content we will be cruising this thing to the car show and yeah so I will catch you guys on the next video at the car show